What's up everyone, Karu here from My Tenant HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm here in Austin, Texas today for Thanksgiving. Uh, and we, I'm with Austin. Uh, I don't know if you remember him from some of the older videos. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the double-handed backhand power. I want to teach you guys how to add quick, easy power to it, not slap shots, but constant power to your double-handed backhand, okay? So I'm just gonna hit a couple here um, and just kind of go through my through my thought process on the back and I will put some close-ups later so you guys can focus on you can hit normal um, so you know the double-handed back and there's a couple things that you need to really pay attention on I don't want to focus too much on my upper body today I really want to focus on my lower body on the double-handed back and so there are three things that I really follow three steps that I try to keep in mind when I'm hitting my double-handed back end. So I go left leg, right leg, I'll hit, and I'll let my, my hips clear. So one, two, three. Again, one, two, three. That allows me to consistently add a lot of power to my double-handed back end. Not to slap shots, um, not to just get on the court and straight up just go like that all the time, right? That's, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to help you have consistent power with your back end. So pay attention to my legs, how I'm going sideways. So I'll go to the back end here. So I'll go two, three, to the back and to the back. End. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so don't worry too much about what I'm doing on my upper body, but really pay attention to my lower body, how I'm always clearing my hips as I'm hitting the ball. Pull, pull, pivot. Pull, pull, pivot. So this left leg here, the back leg, so if you're, if you are a lefty, it would be your right leg, obviously. You get some balls here. Your left leg really pushes you to straight forward into the core so you can then step on the right leg, hit and clear. So if I'm hitting my back in here, doesn't matter how fast it comes, I will try to always let my hips go. So it's not necessarily, when I pivot, it's not necessarily uh, because just of my legs and power, it's just because my, I'm allowing my hips to go through the shot. Boom, they just go through the shot as I'm as I'm hitting okay so even if I'm hit more powerful shots to my back end I can still do those three steps okay so I'm gonna have Austin hit a little bit harder hit a little bit harder and I'm going to show that so I'm split step I'll turn hit turn hit and that allows me to just consistently hit the same shot with a lot of power. Now, obviously, if I want to really add power, if I'm putting away a shot, I'll just be a little bit more aggressive, add a little more rack ahead speed uh, with the top at the top and push a little bit more off my hips. But like, see, open sense, I'm using that left leg. Left leg, right leg, pivot. Left leg, right leg, pivot. E Okay, a couple more here. Pull. Okay, so really paying attention to the hips and the legs. So if you're able to go, you know, left leg, right leg, hit, clear, you're just gonna be stronger through the shot. I think a lot of people try to add power like this, just a little slower. They try to just like slap it more, right? And I see a lot of people trying to hit you know like here okay so a key thing for you to be able to do this this is very important is when you're moving to to the back and corner is that you move first sideways try not to straight up uh go like this as you're moving you can go a little one there so if i just straight up go like this look how my my hips are completely locked i'm not going to really be able to get around now 
if I'm moving to the back and side, and I'm going sideways, and then I turn, and I hit, go again. So sideways first, turn, hit. So pay attention to the to it again, and I will put a, some slow motions of this overlay. Uh, it's much easier for me to actually use the left leg and then move to the target with my right leg as I'm doing this. Okay, so. When I get the basket and feed me a couple. So I'll just have Austin feed me a couple here uh, for, for a few shots. Um, and I'll try to like really demonstrate this, the good and the bad as well. A three quarter here that I go a couple steps. So you see like, if I just go like this, I really am unable to clear my hips. If I just turn too quickly, unable to clear my hips. Again, turn too quickly, unable to clear my hips. Now, if I start moving sideways, upper body is it's turning. Pay attention, the upper body is also turning, but then I'll go boom, into the target. You see how I'm clearing my hips, I'm turning, Oh, and I'm hitting, okay? So sideways first, one, two, three, remember. Sideways, one, two, three. Again, sideways, one, two, three. Perfect. So you see, in, even if the ball is going really further away, I still go sideways, turn, hit. One more. Sideways, turn, hit. The problem is if you just on that ball, oh, oh, like this. It's like, what do you do? Hips are completely locked. Okay, so you wanna make sure the hips are gonna be able to clear. You can just go an easier one here. Obviously, like, now with Austin feeding me, I'm gonna try to go a little bit bigger, and I'll just try to push a little harder. Bah! I'm just pushing harder, if you want. Boom, turn, boom, hit, pushing harder. Boom, boom, pushing harder. See, I'm always clearing the hips, pushing harder. Okay. Right. Boom. Last one. Okay, now I'm gonna have Austin do it. And he obviously hits the ball a little bit different than me, but he he has kind of the same the, the lower body will be the same. Okay, so make sure pay attention to that. I'll feed and I'll keep talking as he's feeding. I'll keep kind of showing you paint showing you what you need to pay attention to. Sounds good? Just pay attention to his lower body, how similar it will be to mine. Obviously, his take back will be a little bit different, but he, he, he's able to add power the same way, okay? So let me just feed him a few here, and we can just go from there. I'm just gonna keep talking about it. You see how he goes, left leg, right leg, then pivot. Left leg, right leg, pivot. Left leg, right leg, pivot. And you see how he doesn't like fully turn his lower body until like almost like the, the moment that he has the right distance, then he turns and he l leans into the ball. Okay, so like crack a few. Yeah. Here, like he's gonna slowly boom, boom, you see? Like he doesn't fully turn as soon as he sees it. He starts turning the, the upper body, but the lower body doesn't really turn uh, that early. But then he's able to push off the back leg, boom, pivot. Like look how much power he's getting. Yes, he's eating with a lot of racket head speed at the top, but it really is the lower body that allows him to hit hit this hard, okay? Now, if I just feed him a little faster, I'm gonna feed you a little faster, and it, you know, you're still gonna use the, the, the legs to, to absorb the power and actually send power back. So you don't wanna absorb power with just using your lower body, uh, with, with your upper body, you wanna use your lower body for it. So if I'm going a little quick, he's still gonna use that same kind of one, two, three, see? And he still is able to just crack the ball. And obviously he has a great back end. So quick, one, two, three. Quick, one, two, three, see? Quick, one, two, three. Perfect, last one, one, two, three. So you see, never missed the last one. There you go. So you see even in, in that situation where he's hitting, you know, balls that are hard, um, he still needs to use the lower body. And I think you're thinking, my, you might be thinking way too much on your lower body on your upper body and not thinking enough on your lower body. Weight transfer, weight transfer is what gives you power, not necessarily just swinging the rack, racket hard, okay? So I'll get back to on frame now and we'll, we'll do this again. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do in this video, I'm just gonna hit some crosses here with Austin. 
Different balls are gonna be hit to me fast, slow, and I want you to look really pay attention to my legs and how I'm always like trying to clear the hips. Obviously, in very, very hard shots will be hard to like fully pivot, but you can still like allow your your hip to 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 clear and not like lock yourself back here. Okay? So let's just hit. You can hit like literally just hit fast, hit slow, do whatever. And I'm just gonna be here. So I'm, I'm here in good ready position, turn, hit. You see, I barely need to like move. I've got a let here on the court. Barely. See, side, turn, hit. Side, turn, hit. Like I think too many players, and like especially at the amateur level, especially in these like slower balls, you're like moving way too much. Ah, and then you're all fully locked. No, see, side, turn, hit. Making it very simple. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you see, I'm trying to go cross court, so I'm pointing my feet a little more towards the cross, right? And the line to the cross. Now, if I want to go down the line, I'll turn my feet a little more that way. But one, two, three. One, two, three. You're gonna go, you can, you can hit it, hit it. Two, three. One. Okay, one, two. Three. Missed that, but still, making sure you're doing that. That's how you're gonna add power all the time. Like when you're trying to just slap shots, it's unrealistic. But if you're able to, you know, add a few miles per hour on your shot, on every shot, then you're gonna make your opponent uncomfortable. So, next thing you know, next time you're on the court, make sure you just think about this one, two, three. No, you don't have to. Make your life so complicated on the court. Try to make it a little bit easier, okay? So if you want to let a little power, boom, boom. It's weight transfer. Weight transfer is what gives you power, okay? So next time you're on the court, make sure you think about your lower body more. We're all gonna hit different up here, and I'm always gonna hammer on that because I think too many people are thinking about up here, and they're not thinking about their lower body. The lower body is the constant. I made a, sh a little short recently about this. All guys that have good back ends, you watch Novak, you watch Murray, all those guys, they're always gonna go left leg, right leg, and they're gonna try to clear the hip. So make sure you're trying to do that next time you're on the court. I'm sure you're gonna see a lot more power on your double-headed back end.